Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm the Gamers Digester, and today I'm going to be giving you guys my thoughts and opinion on the ASUS ROG Ally about two weeks after release. So, I know I made a one week video, but I feel like my thoughts have changed just a little bit since then, and I'd like to make an updated version. So, what have I loved about this device? What have I not liked? Um, I think we'll start with what I like first, because there honestly is a lot. Um, when I was initially watching reviews and stuff, uh, just I was trying to get as much content uh, in as I could. I was watching so many videos, all sorts of stuff. Uh, there was a lot of YouTube channels who got early access, uh, special like specially sent out to them. Um, and for me, I, I really just didn't know what to believe. There was so much uh, nitpicking here and there that when I got mine, I was a little skeptical. Now, I think first things first, I love these buttons. I love the D-pad. The, the, the joysticks are a little high and feel a little loose, but for racing games, they're honestly fantastic. Now, when it comes to first-person shooter games, I'll go into that in a second because I think that should be talked about kind of in its own its own area. For Street Fighter, the D-pad has been incredible. So one thing that sets this D-pad apart, yeah, it might be it feel a little loose, um, but it isn't. When you're trying to do a, a down right, there's an actual diagonal input for that. It's not like an Xbox Series X controller where you have to mush the corner and hopefully hit down and right. If you push right in that spot on the circle, it presses both. And you don't even have to think about it or worry about it. So honestly, when I'm playing Street Fighter, I'm playing it on this device. The, the input delay is not even at all noticeable. I feel like this is the way to play Street Fighter VI. And that's what I said in my review of Street Fighter VI. I, I felt like it, it was incredible on this device. So if you're someone who tends to play uh, a fighting game, something akin to Street Fighter, I feel, don't don't look back. This is an incredible device. It runs that game fantastically. I, I really have nothing more to say um, but praises. It is incredible. Now, first person games, it's a little bit different. So one thing that I've ran into, and I know a lot of you guys have ran into as well, is input delay on this device. Now there was a lot of back and forth. I was trying to figure out, is it a dead zone thing? Is this, I, I couldn't figure out what it was. Is it is it really just input delay? Because there's other games that I feel like don't have this much of a problem. And I hopefully you guys can see that on screen, what I'm talking about, that very noticeable difference. I, I recently played Modern Warfare 2 on a 4K TV or from a Series X. And if you're familiar, those 4K panels have horrible uh, response, uh, like latency from your controller to the actual screen, what you're seeing and that felt more responsive than this. So I'm not entirely sure what the issue is there, if that's something that's a hardware problem or what exactly it is, but I'm not entirely happy with it. Um, Call of Duty can be a little bit hard to play at times, but I still find the idea of playing Call of Duty on the go very enticing and just honestly a fun thing to do. Now, one thing that uh, I don't feel like a lot of people have talked about is this is a small device. I've got some pretty big hands and I hope that this is kind of showing you guys that. So when grabbing this, I really have had to change how I hold it. My hands don't fit how they do on the Steam Deck. I'll grab the Steam Deck and show you. With the Steam Deck, I have an entire back here to grab. And part of that, right, is because of the case, but there are no cases for the ally. There are zero. We have been two weeks now without anything. No word from dbrand or any of these companies or unit or a subcase, my favorite case brand. Hopefully, fingers crossed, they make something. But I mean, this is a device. This is something. Oh yeah, listen to that. D-pad's not my favorite, but man, I, I like the Steam Deck so much. But compared to the Ally, um, that's not entirely what this video is for. This is mostly just what I've thought of the Asus. Ah, oh, that's so much lighter. It is, in short, it is a lightweight older brother 
but it has a lot of problems. Um, and I'd like to say, first things first, battery size. I, I know I, if, if you're familiar with the channel, I talk about this a lot, but I just feel like no one else does. So I need to get, I need to share this uh, so that people are aware. If you are playing AAA games, something like Marvel, uh, like Spider-Man or or Forza, or Modern Warfare, something that is considered a AAA game that runs on a console and was released for a console, something something along those lines, right? You're probably looking at maybe an hour to an hour and a half of battery life, and that's being a bit generous depending on the game that you're playing. Now, before I know the comments are coming. I know there are indie games that you can play that you could probably get three, four hours out of even, but what this device is right this is a 1080p panel 120 hertz refresh rate this is a machine this is an incredible performing machine i want to get every ounce every watt that i can out of this machine and i can do that just by plugging it in and it just so happens that the place where i work has outlets my home has outlets next to my bed Next to my couch, my car has a cigarette lighter. There really is not a place, if I'm being completely honest, if I was at McDonald's, there's an outlet. <laughs> there is not somewhere that I would find myself playing this that there wouldn't be an outlet. Plane rides, train rides, they, they, they usually have outlets. Most planes have outlets. I'm not entirely familiar with subways or trains, but for the most part, I feel like the battery life for me isn't an issue. But there's enough of you guys who have expressed to me that you feel like it is. So I'm going to make it known that that is the worst thing about this device, the worst. And that's a good thing, right? If the worst thing about this device is something that is just inherently bad, like it, it can be remedied with just a, a being it plugged in or, or a portable power bank. Like imagine if the screen had a ridiculous tearing and it, it, the colors were off, that's bad. That would be horrible. You the, the, the screen is glued on on the inside. That'd be a whole, that'd be a whole thing. No, it, it's the battery life. It's it's something that can be remedied and can be fixed. Is that something that we're okay with? Now that's another topic, and I and I've gone into that as well. But as we speak, if you want a device that is this size, that is this light, you have to make some sacrifices. And unfortunately, those sacrifices are battery life. Um, power banks tend to range to around $100, depending on what you're trying to get. If you're trying to get something that'll just charge the device, it has to be at least 65 watts, if you wanna play it and have it charge. Um, if you have an older power bank, you'll see something on the screen that says slow mode, and that slow mode is pretty much the rate that the battery is charging the, the device is slower then the device is actually using power. So the device will die having that power bank plugged in, which honestly is not the greatest thing in the world. So I've cover, covered a couple things here, but this one's my favorite, the speakers. The speakers on this device are incredible. I'm not gonna play any music, I don't wanna risk anything here, but, and I don't even think it would do it justice, honestly. If I'm not mistaken, these have Dolby Atmos. If you're familiar with Dolby Atmos, it's like a surround sound technology. I have it in my sound bar in my living room, and it's in, it's incredible. It makes it makes stuff sound like it's behind you, around you. Do these do Dolby Atmos justice? I feel like 90%. But oh my gosh, guys, they're just these little speakers in here. I've seen teardown videos. They're really they're just they're just little drivers, and they sound incredible. Of, of course, the bass isn't really there at all, and it kind of gets distorted if you turn it up too much with music, but right around that 35 to 40 on the on the volume scale here, that, if you just listen to some songs on Spotify, it'll blow you away. I mean, I, I grew up playing the Game Boy, the DS, 3DS, all, all those, and it's like the, the speakers were good, but it's like, it's a handheld device. I mean, what do you expect, you know? So now that we've kind of came here, it, it's awesome. It's not Bluetooth speaker level by any means, but it's a step in the right direction. And I, and I'm incredibly excited for, for that because it's just one of those little things. It's a little touch that, I mean, that most of the time I've got Bluetooth headphones plugged in or something plugged in anyways, but if I'm just laying in bed 
and I'm browsing the internet on this thing, which is actually pretty fun and kind of weird, but kind of fun. Um, I'll have Spotify going in the background, listening to some music, which I honestly did not think I would do. I'm, I'm being completely serious there. And it, part of it, it was because it's something that you can't do on the Steam Deck. And I know this isn't a Steam Deck comparison video, but it was just, I just came from the Steam Deck and there was a lot of things on there that you couldn't do. So it's kind of like if, if your parents ground you for and never let you play video games. The second you, you graduate, all you do is play video games and become a no life. But um, that's kind of how it was with the Ally. The second I got my hands on this, I was doing a ton of stuff that I wouldn't normally do. But just because I couldn't on the other device, I found myself doing it on this device. Um, the fingerprint scanner is a, a little touch and go. It depends. If you're going to be, if you're not already having this set up, set the fingerprint up with your finger going this way, not this way. I did that the first time and I, and I kind of learned the hard way. Uh, it, it really, when your finger's kind of bent like that, if you're trying to hold the device to scan your finger, it just doesn't line up. And I, and I seriously, when I did it first, I was like, oh yeah, like I'll just pull my finger back. Like it'll be easy. Now just, just hold the device one hand, tap your finger down. Um, there is something that I haven't necessarily had a hard time with. It's kind of just like by default, uh, my brain works like this. I know some people might think it's an issue, but it's kind of like turning the device on and off. You kind of have like five ways that you could do this. <laughs> you can... You can turn it off here. There's a little power button there. You could turn it off from from Windows. You could hold this thing down. Um, and the, there's probably another way, but there, there at least there's those three. And I feel like people have been finding more ways. What is the correct way to do it? For, for my opinion is anyone's guess. There are sometimes I'll turn this thing off and these LEDs will just be purple and flashing. If you guys have any idea why that's happening, I would love to hear it because I'll just be trying to go to bed and like be having weird dreams. And it's like, why are these flashing? You know, like sometimes my PC will, will just start the art, the LED, the RGB will just start flashing. And it's like, okay, I, I know I probably wired you a little bit wrong, but why? Like why? So if you guys have any idea on what that is, I would love to hear it because it is so weird to me, but I'd say that's one of the biggest gripes. Besides the dead zone that I covered, everything else, uh, it's kind of just how to turn this thing off, how to close apps, which you'll learn how to do over time. The little buttons on the back kind of help you navigate. You, you they're, they're tied to Windows controls. So if you hold down the D-pad and you do up, it'll bring up the uh, keypad uh, to the right. Uh, I think down, I can't even really remember. One of them is, uh, there we go, taskbar or task manager. Um, so you do have ways to kind of get around without a keyboard, which is kind of nice. You got some control functions there, but um, all in all, this is an incredible device. It really is. I, I have absolutely loved playing this machine and I, and I really hope that if you're looking to get this, that you have as much fun as I have. Um, there, are, there are potentials for faulty devices that is very real, but curb your expectations because there have been people who, who think that a certain game should run a certain way, and since it doesn't, they think the device is faulty and return it. Now, you're entirely, it, it is entirely okay if a game doesn't run how you want it to return it, but to go around saying that it was a hardware problem when it most likely wasn't, that's a different story. If you're going to be playing a game on this, test a variety of games. Compare those settings, compare your, and of course there's a silicon lottery, but that's a whole different thing. Compare what you're getting, see if it's somewhat similar to what other people have been getting online, um, and, and try and remedy it yourself, because there are definitely ways to fix the device if you're having issues. But I think for right now, my, my opinion on this is it, it's, a, it's a buy, it's a go. This has been a fun device, and I can't wait for what's next. Um, if they're able to fix the battery, I'll say that. But I've been the Gamer Digester, I really enjoy making content for you guys. We just hit a thousand subscribers, kind of a big deal, um, got monetized, and I I've just been loving the journey here. If you guys enjoyed today's video, if you felt like you got anything from this, one, check the comments because every my community is in insane. They'll help you guys find anything out that you need to ask a question and people will help you out. I, 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 I respond to almost every single comment myself and sometimes there are hundreds. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. 90% 90 90 of the time they get answered. Um, if you enjoyed the video, I'd, I'd encourage you to leave a like, subscribe, join this community because it, it's only up from here. 
Uh, I, I have tons of content on the way. Um, and I just love making videos for you guys. So I hope you enjoy. I hope you guys have a good weekend. And with that, game on.